your family, then worry no more because we at Cebu Elegant Properties will do the job for you. Good day everyone, I'm Christine Pantaleon, your Cebuano licensed real estate broker. And today we will be featuring another brand new property which is uh, strategically located here in Mandawe City, Cebu. But before anything else, you know the drill. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button to get more updates. So now we will be featuring this house and lot which is, which is just finished. It's actually brand new and it has a lot area of 192 square meters and a floor area of 265 square meters. So this way here is the garage area which can accommodate a two car park. And then it already has permission for the what do you call this? Um, club. If you're gonna fix your car somewhere over here, then you can just use this. And we also have this um, water system if, whenever you want to wash your car here in this area. This area here leads to the service area where the maid's quarter with its own toilet and bathroom is located and where you are gonna do your laundry. Later, we are going to show you that um, from the garage area, we can immediately go to the dirty kitchen. But before that, you'll first go to the main house. By the way, guys, before I forget, that this is um, the pocket garden, which all the mummies might probably love if you want to put like, if you want to plant like, flowers over here then you can use and utilize this space. Actually, this is best for kids who want to play in the afternoon time. You can put some, um, what do you call that, can uh, swing, anything that you like to enjoy. So actually we have here side garden in this area and then it's best to put some chairs and tables on the side. If you want to, you know, relax in the afternoon because this area here is quite breezy. So now let's go into the property. So this is the main door. The main door has a digital lock system encoded with numbers so that only the owners know how to get inside this house. This is made of solid wood, by the way. So this is the foyer and this is the living area. The living area already has a chandelier up there. And then we have here provision for the internet. And this is for where you're going to put your television. By the way, from floor, this is a high ceiling one. From floor to ceiling, I guess it's about 2.9 meters high. So in this area, this is for the dining table. Actually, this can fit at least eight seater dining table. And then we have here a sliding door which leads to the side yard. So on this side, this is where the uh, clean kitchen is located. I'm sorry for my stuff, I'm just gonna remove this first. And then this is for the clean kitchen. The clean kitchen already has a granite countertop. And then we have here two door fridge where you can put your favorite Nutella snacks and all. This one, this is actually brand new. And then we have here the cooktop and a kitchen. And by the way, this is actually patterned like modular kitchen. So the white paint for the modular cabinets make the whole area spacious and very neat. So this one leads to the guest room. So the guest room has its own toilet and bathroom, which we can also refer to as a common toilet and bathroom for guests who are coming to your house to be able to use. 
I'll come and check the bathroom first. So the bathroom area is equipped with a Spanish um, fixtures called Roca. So we have here hot and cold shower. Kindly focus it there. And then let's go now to the bathroom area. Oops, first. So this is what we call the dirty kitchen or the auxiliary kitchen. Before going to the bedroom area, let's first check the dirty kitchen. So we have here range hood, and then this one can be put. Uh, we're gonna put the you know um, cooked up, ordinary cooked up. Okay, quite many. This is just a uh, dirty kitchen, and then this is provision for the gas because it's very safe to put the gas outside the house. Gas tank, I mean. So this is what I told you earlier, but um, this is the door which leads to the garage area whenever you are buying some stinky fish or whatever it is from the market, from the wet market, then you just don't have to pass through the main door, just pass through this dirty kitchen and put all your dirty stuff over here. By the way, before I forget that we have here the um, I forgot, is that me? Huh? Breaker. This is the circuit breaker for the ground floor. So we have here. This is the maid's quarter. This is the maid's quarter which can fit a single size bank or a bunk bed to a double deck. So this is its own toilet and bathroom. And this area here, so you can notice that we have outdoor um, plug. I call this plug, I don't know what's the term for this, but this is for uh, provision for the laundry area. You can just put like, a little bit of roofing in this side so the washing machine won't get wet. Okay, let's, go, let's now go back to the main house. So this is what I told you earlier that we have a guest room in the ground floor. So for elderly guests or elderly people who are going to live in this house and that's a going to go up and down the for you. This area can fit at least a queen size bed. So this is already the provision for the Wi-Fi and over there is the provision for the cable TV. Now let's go to the second floor or the bedroom area. So before we go to the second floor we can see here a space where you can actually all your stuff, unnecessary stuff in the house, or you can, you know, make it a stock room, but just make it clean, not be cluttered anyway. So let's go to the bedroom area. As you can see, that we have here lights just be, uh, just above the stairs. Whenever at night time you want to save some electricity bills, then you can turn off all the lights and just turn. On. Actually, this is LED lights, so that doesn't much, that doesn't hold, cost much. And you can see that it's kind, quite romantic at night time. So we have here the circuit breaker for the second floor. And then these doors here lead to bedrooms one, two, and the master bedroom. Let's check first bedroom number one. Oh, first, wait. I'm gonna turn on the light first. So this is bedroom number one. Bedroom number one is quite spacious and it can fit or accommodate a queen-size bed. The same with the guest room, it also has a provision for the Wi-Fi within here. And over there is for the television. You have here split-type air conditioner and this one is old toilet and bathroom. So come 
and check it for yourself. The uh, toilet and bathroom. So as you can see, all of the toilet and bathrooms already has a hot and cold shower. Now let's go to bedroom number two. This one is bedroom number two and what I call a mini suite room or a junior master bedroom because it's spacious, it's quite big here and it has a lot of windows. You can very open this one and open this one, this makes the whole room breezy. Um, let's just close this one. So this is uh, what we call the junior master bedroom or bedroom number two. This can accommodate a, good, a king size bed. This is where you're going to put the bed here and then Wi-Fi here. And then this is where the television wall is. Because this is where the cable provision is located. And then we have here and sweet toilet and bathroom. Um, did I just say that we are using Spanish fixtures, Roca? Kind of what was it? We're using Roca for all the fixtures in the house. So now let's go to the master bedroom. This is the master bedroom. The same with the other bedrooms, it, also, it is also equipped with an air conditioner. And we have here big windows also, which we can actually see who's coming inside our house from here. This is the master bedroom. This can fit a king-size bed. And this is where your bed should be located because this is where the TV should also be placed. This is the TV wall. Uh, this is where the TV should be mounted. Anyway, let's now check what's in store for us. So this one is the provision for the walk-in closet. Sorry, let's just turn on the lights. This is the provision for the walk-in closet. And then we have here our own toilet and bathroom. Okay, so now let's wrap up everything that we have seen in this house. So there you go guys. I hope you had enjoyed watching our video. So guys, let's wrap up everything. So this house has a lot area of 192 square meters and a floor area of 265 square meters. This is actually good for a big family because we have a lot of rooms. Four bedrooms all in all. And each of the bedrooms has its own toilet and bathroom. And then the ground floor is a main sparker with its own toilet and bathroom too. Then we have two car garage. And on the other side is the pocket garden. Then we have there Actually, this is what we call semi-furnished house because we already have air conditioner, um, split type air conditioner each in every room. I think there are a, lot, a total of five air conditioners. All of them are split type. And then we already have a fridge in a clean kitchen and then um, cooktop and a rain shoot in the clean kitchen too and a rain shoot in the dirty kitchen. And then here in the second floor, we all of the bathrooms even in the ground floor is already um, hot and cold shower has already hot and cold shower i'm sorry the lady the knuckle anyway so we have a total of four bedrooms with own toilet and bathroom and this house can be yours at 18 million pesos so if you would like to see this property for your own self please don't
don't forget to call us at 0917-7999-429 or you may email us at myfuturehome101 at gmail.com. And once again, I'm Christine Pantalin, your Sepuana licensed real estate broker. Thank you and God bless.